Hello and welcome to the OGC community. All you need to do to join our beautiful family is hit the subscribe button, slam the thumbs up button on all the videos. Now let's go check out and see what Art of Conquest is all about. Hey, what's going on guys? It is OGC here. Welcome to today's video. Today we have a super special video for you guys. There is so much going on. Um, I can't wait to uh, share and experience all of it with you guys. So uh, first and foremost, we need to get the chat uh, working again. Uh, for some reason, it loves to bug out on me and I can't figure out uh, the rhyme or reason to it. Uh, so let me just do what I know uh, has worked in the past. So how is everybody out there doing? Um, I'm happy to be with you guys on this beautiful, beautiful, uh, what is today? Friday night. Uh, at, at least for me, for some people, it might actually be Saturday day. Uh, we'll, we'll give it a second and see if, uh, if the chat box uh, pops up. Um, if not, we will get a little bit more uh, creative in our chat box solution. So first, we need to uh, congratulate the strange one. They are the first one here. Okay, chat box is now going, and it is going crazy. So the strange one is the first one here. They're the first ones to say hi. They are also the first one to like the video. So make sure you guys like, like the, the live stream. Uh, Aman is here. They are third. Uh, doctor is here, and uh, they used to be Yo Mama. Uh, now they are uh, Doctor. Uh, Noah is here. They say that they love the video. So thank you, Noah. I'm glad that you're here. I hope that the video and stuff uh, helps you out. Rob is also here. So hello, Rob. Nice to see you. Uh, we have Randy saying hi that they love the videos. I'm, I'm glad that you guys like like the videos. It's 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 a uh, it's a special thing. I, I'm glad somebody out there likes them. So uh, we also have um, uh, Bronco saying hello. So far, we're doing pretty good with the names. We're probably going to butcher this at some point in time. Uh, Ada is here uh, asking why we weren't live yesterday. Why, why, why? Uh, because we don't do live streams on Thursday. Uh, so we also have Brandy saying that they love us. I love you too, Brandy. I love all you guys. Um, we also have, uh, let's see, Dupius is here. So hello to Dupius. Um, she is doing a curtsy, so that is beautiful. Revenge is also here. Revenge is probably going to be the next interview for the channel. Uh, little does he know. AOC The End is here uh, saying, did you get the uh, Elena skin yet? Great question. We might have to just wait for the Lucky Wheel uh, video to come out, which will be on Sunday. More on that later. Uh, Panda Power is here. They are waving hi. We also have Ada saying, um, show us your Lucky Wheel. Um, all right, we also have, uh, okay, so Tane's asking why no, no Discord. Um, so I'll, I'll get to all this. First, we, we got to go in pretty deep uh, for our Drake. We're, we're going to go over it for the first time so far. Uh, so, oh, 
So we get a bunch of questions about Drake. Finally, we can do a Drake video and go over the uh, entire Drake stuff. Uh, Adina is here as well saying um, that they love your uh, messages and quickly wanted to say that they love us. Thank you, Adina, love you too. Uh, Kitty G is here saying, did I miss anything good? Uh, no, we are just starting. Basic is here saying, check your messages in game and check new dragon. I don't want to lose hero bread. Uh, so let's jump in. Let, let's see if uh, we, we see basic uh, real quick, we do. And basic sent us a Onyx Dragon. So this has Hero Pred, External Void, um, three Hole Punch. He's got the three damage skills and also Corrosive Scale. Honestly, man, this is good enough. Uh, this is the exact dragon that, uh, I can't say his name, uh, that a friend of ours uh, used for a while. Uh, then he tried to replace Fortitude and it did not work out well for him. Uh, he ended up destroying the dragon, so that's not good. Uh, basically, man, uh, you have a fantastic dragon. Would you have better luck if that purple skill wasn't there? Yes, chances of you ruining it, 50% chance. It's not worth it. Hold on to this. This is actually a fantastic dragon. You can't go wrong with uh, Fortitude. All right, so now let's, uh, <clears throat> let's go over the thing that everybody wants to know all about. Blood Moon's uh, Drake. So, uh... Let, let, let's talk about it real quick. Uh, before we go into the whole thing, I just want to say that Blood Moon, as of right now, um, we have lost this battle. And the reason why I say battle is because uh, we didn't lose the war. Uh, so th there's some interesting concepts with all of this. Uh, as, as far as Art of Conquest, Drake is uh, it's an event. It's... Uh, Similar yet different is something like the swamp or going in trying to win, uh, you know, the power prize event. Drake is just an event. So uh, even if we don't win Drake, uh, we will still win the war. This is just one little battle in, in the big scheme of things. And even the greatest of all time uh, don't win everything. If you look at Michael Jordan, Michael Jordan, he missed more shots than he actually made. I'm just saying... Uh, us blood moon if i'm if i if i'm allowed to speak for us for a brief uh, moment or a second um we're fantastic uh <laughs> we have one one little hiccup with, with the drake it's not the end of the world i mean at the end of the day it's just drake uh we're still going to do fantastic when it, when it comes to rewards so i'm not worried at all as far as drake uh we we meaning ogc is currently in light blue so Blood Moon is all split up. Uh, not everyone is in light blue right now. As you can see, it is a major war zone. So to summarize this whole thing, the entire server is against Blood Moon, except for uh, a few friends in a house called 300. Um, so considering that it is the entire server versus one little house plus some friends, we're doing amazing. And if we look at, uh, if, if we look at like the powers and stuff, um, just in like the top six players, uh, we have one person that that's like up there from, from Blood Moon. Everyone else is, is against us. At seventh, we have Adina. Then, then we also have uh, Boom Boom. And I mean, it's just, there's so many people, um, and there's such big alliances coming up against us. It's literally everybody, uh, up, up against Blood Moon. Um, I guess, I guess it can make for good publicity or w whatever that looks like, but before we jump into some specific stuff with Drake, I just want to say that, um, again, this is just an event. So Blood Moon as a whole, uh, and, I, and I, I mean this sincerely, uh, Blood Moon as a whole is a really, really good house. It's a really strong house. And what makes a house good isn't necessarily how well they perform at Drake, it's how well do they hold together after Drake. So if we look at something like, like Blood Moon, they haven't changed the name of their house in a very long time. It's a pretty unifying house. Uh, I'm pretty sure people from every server know, know about Blood Moon or have heard of them in some, some capacity. Um, I don't think that spirits could ever be higher for Blood Moon than right this second. So that being said, yes, we might be set back in, in, uh, in the event a little bit, but this is just an, an event. It's just one little uh, portion of the entire game. Uh, what what defines the war of Art of Conquest is how how well does your house hold together long term. 
Um, I've seen houses that have uh, changed names constantly, um, such as like, uh, I, for I forget if they were Capital Warriors or Keyboard Warriors. I, I think it was Keyboard Warriors. And then they kept switching their names to uh, all different sorts of things because leadership kept changing. And um, ultimately, if, uh, it, if you're in a house that is just deteriorating f from the inside out and you have inner fightings, then it's not going to bring you as much joy for, for your game. So it's all about the spirit of the house and I've never been in anything like Blood Moon as far as the, like the unifying spirits. Um, it's, it's beautiful, everybody gets along, everyone's super respectful. Uh, as far as like our, our enemies, yes, the entire server is against us, but I mean, we have a pretty wide stretch when it comes to um, uh, us and, and who we are and the people that we know. So. Uh, long story short, I can actually read every single house in games uh, messages just because we have so many friends and access to accounts. And what I can say is, although we might lose this event, we will win the war because there is so much inner conflict inside of other houses that are here. It's absolutely beautiful to read, uh, but Blood Moon doesn't have that issue. We're so unified, it's, it's unreal. So anyways, uh, long story short, Everybody's out to get Blood Moon. We have some friends in 300. Um, Aries, if you're watching this, man, uh, you are the man. Uh, we have some really good friends out there. Uh, so I'm happy that they're with us. Before we get to the, the big announcement, which uh, is going to change the, the whole scope of the channel completely. Um, some people are not going to like the news that I have later on. Uh, we'll save that for right before my, mine comes up. Um, but anyways, first, let's jump in because we're talking about the the, the war and, and Drake and having fun with it. Um, let's go check out some really cool stuff. So we have uh, we have Mr. Shrapcorn and for Mr. Shrapcorn, he has uh, he has some of some of our replays. So let's go over some uh, PvP replays from Drake. Although uh, it's the entire server uh, against us, there's hundreds of people. There's like half a dozen houses all coming up against our little 150 people plus plus some friends in 300 even though that's the case that doesn't mean that we're not going to try our best because part of the ogc community spirit is we will do our best no matter what um so we also have uh katie's here adina is here um she <laughs> you guys are awesome diago is here saying hello uh, ogc first time watching one of your streams um, just started playing four months and you've helped me so much. Man, I'm happy to hear that. I'm really happy to hear that. Sometimes, and I'll just be honest with you guys, sometimes I can read through comments, uh, whether it's through, uh, through my channel and all the ones I have to remove because they're just, uh, blatantly rude or, or have profanity in them. Um, or if I hop on and I start searching my name, sometimes I can, I can see a lot of ne negativity, but the most beautiful part about the community that, that we've created is a healthy, non-toxic environment, uh, filled with respectful people. So I'm glad that you guys are all here. Uh, so, uh, first we have to check out Katie's skin. I forgot Katie, you told me she has the Elena skin. We can't put ours on yet. Oh, did I give too much away from the lucky wheel video? That's not out yet. See, see, I made sure not to put on the Elena skin. Anyways, Katie's looks absolutely amazing. Um, oh my God, who just ran by with, was that Nava with one as well? All right. So <clears throat> first one. We'll, we'll look through some PvP replays. Hopefully, we can get better as we look through these. Um, yeah, Katie flexed hard. Uh, so, AO, uh, no, AOC, the end, said that Ares is my buddy. Um, it was uh, Dr. Awesome that said Katie's got to flex like that. That's awesome. Katie can flex as much as she wants. Uh, all right, so... Uh, a man said, uh, it's harsh when everyone's against you. I, I agree. Um, it makes Drake difficult. Again, Drake is just an, an event. It's, it's really just a longer version of whatever other events are in the game. The actual war goes on well past Drake. So for this first fight, uh, we're, we will take a look at uh, Katie. So Katie is like, uh, I don't know, 6.6, .6, maybe 6.7 million core power now. Um, she's going up against uh, Kill Switch who is 9.1 million core power now. So there is, there's close to a 3 million core power difference here. The Lich player uh, on the left side, 9.1 million core power. Uh, Katie, 6 million, somewhere in the 6 million core power range. Uh, if we take a look at everything, I mean, he's got over 
Uh, a million health stalkers, absolute insanity. Uh, dragon, he's got the dragon armor. We, we've seen this one before, completely maxed, so one, 159 across the board. Now, Katie has some incredible snipers. Katie is no slouch, uh, she is amazing. So, when we, when we look at Katie's stuff, her snipers, absolutely insane. Uh, critical hit damage is at 105%, 41% crit rate, and also over 100% accuracy. Absolutely insane. Diago got Elena skin in the first roll. Congratulations. Amazing luck right there. Also, we have um, Strange One getting it within his first 10 spins. Amazing job. Um, also, guys, just for you guys for, for tonight, uh, if there are any uh, in, any donation things, we have special uh, audio made from a fa fan. Um, so we will play that for you guys. The fan spent a lot of time working on it. So um, Elsa is going to be Katie's dragon. And this is a Azul dragon. Uh, a perfect Azul dragon. Katie's no slouch, but she's uh, she's pretty, pretty much beat on core power really, really hard. Um, so right here we have... Katie lost in every single stat except for Might. Her Nora did over a uh, hundred million damage. Badrix did over a hundred million damage. Let's jump into this. Um, absolutely amazing fight from, from, from Katie G. Just coming out, going up against somebody so much larger than her. Kill Switch, super honorable, super respectful uh, opponent. Uh, they did an amazing job. I would never want to fight Katie G. She's, uh, she's just absolutely amazing. So. They did uh, an amazing job going up uh, against uh, KDG, um, who's beaten by about like three million core power. I don't know how she managed to like flawless him. Like, they they had such a big oh OGC girl, she did it. All right, so we we have to do the uh, fan made uh, audio stuff. So uh, hopefully you, you guys at home uh, uh, enjoy. So here we go. Every time we, we get one, we're going to be playing. Uh, a special audio made by a fan uh, posted in the OGC community chat. About this war, I think we became weak after this war, much weaker than before, because uh, Blood Moon are so bad that we became bad also. We can. All right, so thank you, OGC girl. Uh, well, that was going. We we had KG doing an absolutely amazing job. Um, she took down the dragon really fast. The snipers were able to actually just blast them down, which is uh, just so, so good. Um, I love it. She does the uh, new Elena thing because she's showing a lot of respect towards the uh, opponent. Um, it is absolutely amazing to see the level of, of, of respect and honor that, that's put out during the fights. Remember guys, it's just an event. It's, uh, it's nothing to take super seriously. Uh, it's also a game, so you know, uh, they go out, they do their thing, and at the end of the day, everyone can go be friends afterwards. So KDG, amazing fight, uh, kill switch, still one, one of the, the greatest people I've, I've ever seen playing. Uh, fantastic job. So we'll jump into the, the next one. This is actually going to be, um, this will be King going up against KD. So King uh, is around KD's core power, maybe slightly higher. They also have a, a level 58 dragon. Uh, this is a onyx dragon and it looks like it is uh not a perfect onyx dragon it's missing hero pred it's got like 150 plus in all of uh everything oh my god taint just wants to hear the audio thank you very much taint um <laughs> all right so we'll we'll hold true so our fan made um audio uh here here we go about this war i think we became weak after Tony this war, much it. weaker than before, because uh, Blood Moon are so bad that we became bad also. We can. So th thank you very much, Titane. Uh Thank you very much to um, our, our community member named uh, Kim for m making everything. I, I appreciate it. Um, so this is uh, this is Katie's honest dragon. It's absolutely amazing. And guys, if you guys are part of the OGC community. Uh, and you guys have stuff that you want to submit and you guys want to be a part of the, the live streams in that way, um, feel free to submit what, whatever you want to me or private message me. Um, I'd love to see it all. So uh, although these guys are about the same core power, uh, Katie's going out there with super max. Um, oh my gosh, we're getting subscribers. Thank you guys so much for, for subscribing. Uh, now let's take a quick peek and it looks like Katie lost in all stats except for Might. 
So Katie's going up against all odds, uh, up against um, King, who's actually, he, he really is an awesome dude. I, I like King a lot. Uh, she's using uh, Silver Max going up against Gold Max. She lost in all stats except for Might. Both are using uh, Onyx Dragons, although KD does have the advantage with the Hero Pred um, Onyx Dragon. I mean, they're all uh, they're all pretty pretty much perfect. But uh, it looks like the tags go down on both people. Um, it's absolutely beautiful to to watch this. It's uh, it's pretty pretty amazing. All right, so Katie took down the the dragon first, and her dragon is now moving up, able to uh, blow up everything, which is just uh, amazing. Her dragon ended up going down, but the Badrix got in super deep, took out all of the snipers. So now King is down to one pack of snipers. He still has the mana worm, so maybe the mana worm can speed up all of the snipers enough uh, so that uh, the snipers are able to take out all of Katie's stuff. Um, I don't think that's going to be the case because Katie still has her Badrick. She drops down a bat splits right on top of the black hole and everything. It's absolutely insane to watch this. These two players are top level players. I, I don't know if King is actually top, top 100 in the world. If he's not, he, he should be. He, he is actually a, a, a fantastic player. I, I like King. He, he's good. Um, but Katie came out swinging. She was not playing around in this one. It's very good. It's very good. So, uh, Katie, great job as always. Uh, King, you did fantastic, man. Um, hopefully, we, we can play with you on the same team uh, sometime soon. So, although people, uh, a couple people did little, little donations for us, I have something for you guys. This right here is a uh, code. Um, I honestly don't know what's on this code. This is courtesy of Lilith. Uh, so thank you very much to Lilith. They, they gave us some codes for being content creators. Go try this code in game. Anybody can uh, get this code. First person to enter it gets it. Um, yeah, this, this is uh, this, this is really, really, really good stuff. Um, so ma make sure that um, you guys go enter this. Only one person can, can win this. It's kind of like a VIP code. So just like with VIP codes, you you cannot always get them. Um, but for this one, one person can get it, and I have no idea what's on it. So if you're the lucky person out there that gets it, please let me know what's on the code uh, when, when you actually redeem it. Uh, let me know in chat who got it, because I'm going to be super happy for you. Uh, but also, uh, let me know what the code actually gives, because I have no idea. Um, so we'll, we'll jump back um, while the code is being redeemed. So Katie said that King was top 100 last season, so that's uh, that's actually uh, huge. Um, Doctor Awesomeness asked, "What does the code give?" I I don't know. Uh, they're they're new codes. I'm not allowed to use them myself, um, so I I have no idea. That I want to find out just like you you. Um, Strange one said it's used, so somebody got to the code first. Uh, it will be interesting to see who who got it. Uh, Nobody69 said, wow, I uh, had, had at, uh, I'm, I'm not sure, no, nobody, please l let me know what, what you're saying, and I, I, I will gladly do that. KDG said, um, don't forget silver stuff. So, this next fight, guys, this is all about how core power does not necessarily matter. So, on the left-hand side, uh, we, we have, I'll try and see if I can, uh, if, if I can get, Oh, okay, so nobody got it. <laughs> nobody 69. Oh my god, that's kind of funny. Nobody got the code. Uh, congratulations, no, nobody. What was on the code? How, how much Lenario was on it? It's, it's still so new that uh, I, I have no idea what, what's on it, but I am super interesting. All right, so nobody said 300 Lenari on it. That's absolutely awesome. Uh, so congratulations, nobody. You got like an extra one and a half uh, lucky wheel spins. Um, I'm so happy for you. Uh, don't worry, guys. We actually have more codes to get through. Uh, so congratulations again to nobody. Um, Mammon, welcome. I'm, I'm, I'm happy that, that you're here. So the, the person on the left-hand side, the, the purple player, their mechs are 3.3 million uh, health. They're really big. Their snipers, their snipers have, uh, what is that, a, a million uh, attack damage? Absolutely wild. For the Blood Moon player, the, the person in um, in the light blue, they have like a quarter of a million attack uh, and their, their mechs have uh, two million health. So, I mean, this right here is like a one million core power difference in at this level of play, this is absolutely huge. You can also notice 
that the person in uh, purple who has way stronger snipers and stuff has level 16 troops uh, for their snipers and their mechs. The person on the right hand side has level 15 for both their snipers and mechs. So this is totally tilted. So we'll, we'll check this out and uh, see how this goes. So the purple player has a Topaz Dragon. Um, it looks actually like like a pretty pretty good uh, Topaz Dragon. Dragonic, so this is a different level of play and a lot of people might be able to relate to this where the Dragon Dragonic's not quite maxed out. So they have everything but protection. Um, and for the light blue player, they have a really good Onyx Dragon and they have even less Dragonic. So this is a um, fantastic fight overall. And it looks like the purple player was able to win in all stats except for command. Um, so really, really cool stuff. Uh, we have uh, Ara here saying, hey, and Kelly said, hello. So hello, Kelly. Uh, four damage taken, uh, we, we can see that as well. So let's jump on in and let's see how this goes. So it looks like this is power side uh, versus uh, stall side, so it's an inverted fight. On the bottom side, the uh, the Raxius, um is able to stun up some stuff, but also speed up the snipers, so the snipers should blow, uh, blow through those mechs pretty fast. On the top side, um, it looks like uh, the purple player is, uh, they're actually doing pretty good at going up against the mechs. They have two, two packs of mechs that are like halfway down, but towards this bottom side, like the bottom middle portion where the dragon was, um, for the teal player, they were actually able to blast right through. They got their dragon pretty deep and now they're just uh, rounding everything off in the bottom side. The top, top side, they have uh, more or less uh, full, fully collapsed and they're able to move in. So uh, with um, with the black hole coming out from the Ring of Ragnar, it's pretty much going to uh, just shut everything down. So Spearwolf said uh, that they're late and they're sorry. Don't be sorry, man, it's all good. Um, how are you doing? Uh, I'm doing absolutely fantastic. We, we have a pretty major uh, announcement that affects the channel overall com coming up uh, in, in a little bit. It's actually pretty sad. But until then, we're going to enjoy every moment of this. All right, so next one we have... Doo -doo -doo. Oh my gosh, I, I was looking forward to this one. Uh, so this is OGC Gaming versus the Kenny 2. So the, the Kenny 2 is a really, really good uh, Lich player. Um, they are actually absolutely amazing. I think they have us beat by well over a million core. I'm pretty sure they're around like 7 million something core. Fantastic player. So uh, this is actually, if you guys are curious about um, Garrison stuff, this is a Garrison White mostly because they use the silver. If they used gold, they would would have got, got us. Um, but I'll show you a couple little things that I did that just made the Garrison that much stronger. So uh, first of all, we put the two star Solanches onto our Gafgar, and for our Prism, we have uh, the Dragon Armor to help keep our Dragon alive. Uh, so that, that's for our Gafgar. He also has Temporary Repair at 10 out of 9, so that's just awesome uh, at the beginning. Um, next, we have Nora. So Nora is set up just to do straight up damage. She has the uh, Dragonic Storm on her. Uh, it, it's pretty awesome. So. She's there just to deal a bunch of damage. And finally, we have Elena. So Elena, I actually put the Ring of Ragnar on because if the if she lives long enough to get those procs, it's actually pretty massive. So for your garrison defense, pro tip, make sure that your Ring of Ragnar is out there. And she also has the Dragon Mage set. I think that's a, that's a must have for it. And of course, ours is updated. So we have the, the Magic Resist. We also have the uh, Radiance. And we have strategic retreat. I decided not to go with the call of the Calvary because uh, there's not a giant use for it, and I don't want that to override the temporary repair. So let's uh, jump on in, and we, we can see how how this one goes. Uh, so the Kenny two did, did an awesome job. Uh, they eventually sent us to the capital. Um, they're amazingly strong, uh, super nice person, uh, very res respectable player. Um, had a lot of fun play playing with them. Uh, I, I will miss them. So um, crazy, crazy stuff. Our Nor is just able to blast right through those those sil silver stalkers uh, like no tomorrow. So uh, that's good news for us. We need to get through the stalkers on the bottom side. And also our mechs are able to just chop up all of those little skeletons. Mechs do really good going up against uh, stalkers in a prolonged fight, assuming that the warlocks aren't able to just blow them up. So our dragon, speaking of uh, getting blown up, went down. The enemy uh, retreated their Azul dragon so that they can use their Azul dragon later, later on. 
Anyways, we have both Ring of Ragnars coming out. The Ophidius is down. She's attacking a pack of snipers. We still have blasters. Uh, the blasters are actually really good uh, going up against um, Lich because they'll just blast them away. I mean, they're sh shooting out giant, giant bombs. Um, wow. So a Amia uh, donated uh, 50. So thank you so much, Amia. And uh, remember, guys, uh, if you guys want to submit your own personal stuff, uh, to be featured on, on the channel, make sure you go through the OGC community, uh, send it on Facebook. So this is a fan-made uh, thing made by a, a, a player in the community named Kim. So uh, enjoy, Amia, Th thank you very much. Um, About this war, I think we became weak after this war, much weaker than before, because uh, Blood Moon are so bad that we became bad also. We can so thank you very much, Amia. And since you were so kind to us, we're going to return the favor and offer another code for you guys. So feel free to go get this code. Only one person can redeem this code. Uh, so hopefully that person is you. Um, again, if you guys want to be uh, be a part of uh, the process and submit your own stuff, if you guys are really good at drawing or editing videos, uh, if you're good at creating like cool sound clips where you, where you cheer people on, uh, feel free to get get a hold of me. Uh, I I absolutely look look forward to all of this stuff. Um, so we have Ada asking how much did we spend for Dragon Skin? Uh, pretty much one month's worth of rent, um, <laughs> and then some. <laughs> uh, Katie uh, said, "LOL." Um, Kelly is. Uh, Super happy to be here. I'm, I'm happy that Kelly's here too. It's, it's nice to see uh, her stuff running around on, on the server on Taz. Uh, Ada uh, got her question. So the strange one was not able to get this. If you're able to get this code, uh, please let, let me know. I, I would love to share it in, in the stream. I, I think that's uh, some really, really cool stuff. Uh, so Diago was too slow as well. No. All right, so we're going to jump into the, the next one. Uh, this is actually going to be another, um, oh, so KG said codes are, are uh, one-time use and you have to be quick, yes. Unfortunately, right now, there's not another way to, to do this that I can easily get the code to you guys. If you guys have any thoughts on that, feel free to let me know. Um, so this right here is another garrison thing. So remember guys, it's all about setting up your, your heroes properly. Um, so this is going to be uh, a player named uh, Kimiru. Uh, they are going to come up and they're, they're going to try. They're borrowing some uh, some snipers. Now, these snipers are no joke. So these are probably um, a top uh, core power type of player snipers because they have 2.4 million attack on them. Um, I'm pretty sure they're, they're just really good overall. 125% crit hit damage. So borrowing some super strong stuff. We'll go check out and see how, how we did in, in this fight. So, so far it looks like we're, we, we're actually doing, doing pre pretty good. Um, uh, so Ramal saying, uh, hey, and they're late today. That's okay, uh, Ramal, I'm, I'm glad, that, uh, I'm glad that, that you're here. And also Joseph said that they were in battle. Yeah, if you guys got the code, please, please let me know. So this is a player attacking us and uh, we're actually able to do pretty well. So typically it, if you're uh, attacking somebody, you need a really strong front line. So like silver swords and stuff uh, might not be able to uh, carry you to, to victory, but nonetheless, they were able to do a ton of damage to us. Our dragon got super low, their dragon died. Um, I Yeah, I, I think they're, they're Azul dragon uh, because I, I actually watched this uh, when it happened. Uh, their their Zul Dragon only has two skills, so it's really only there for Noble Blood. Um, but nonetheless, I this is this can happen if you underestimate people. So th this player, uh, I think that they underestimated how strong we, we can be, and they attacked us with the uh, with a not perfect dragon in using two packs of swords, like two two packs of silver swords, and never underestimate your 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 opponents, guys. Um, it is something that I have done personally myself, so I can relate to this player quite quite a bit. Um, I've done it myself and it's it's just not a uh, it's not a great thing. So not, not a good feeling. So Diago said, OGC, did you do a video about troop equipment? Uh, but I am using three types of troops and I'm cast level 32 at the moment. And I don't know if I should go for a level six uh, backline um, like you su su suggested first. Diago, what race are you playing? 243 said, is it bad that I slept through my minds? 
Uh, no, it's not. Uh, if I didn't do streams, guys, I would probably forget about mines as well. I also want to know who got the code out there. I'm super curious. So the, we just saw a, a player come up and uh, try try attacking us. So they actually did it again, and, and they did a fantastic job the second time. The second time that they got more stuff uh, out there ready ready to be used. Um, again, they're using some crazy borrowed troops. I don't think they could get any stronger than this uh, this this one attack. So we'll check this out because um, they did so good at destroying us. Uh, we just have to give them some tribute. Um, they are an honorable, kind, uh, caring, and compassionate opponent. Um, this is the type of person that you can go and you can have a an event like Drake with, and then afterwards, like your best friends, and, and you're hanging out probably in the same house, all that type of stuff. So, anyways, uh, for this, uh, they are attacking us. Um, great, great guy. Good. I, I would almost consider a friend. So uh, they are attacking us. Uh, our dragon's actually doing pretty good. Bottom side. Um, they're actually doing pretty good at stunning up our, our blasters. Uh, so now their Nora is getting some deep, deep lightning procs off. They almost wiped out uh, a pack of the snipers toward, towards the back line. Our dragon is still up and he looks beautiful with the dragon army. So that's, uh, that is ab absolutely huge. Um, bomb side, we're doing pretty decent at stalling them still. Uh, their Azul dragon is dropping pretty low. Uh, so that is not, not a good thing. Uh, nonetheless, it's pretty much our dragon that, that is going to do everything. We, we're very heavily invested into the dragon. Uh, we have the bad splits coming out, which is just going to cause major, major issues for us. We'll, we'll speed this out, up a little bit. Our dragon's also starting to get super low, so our dragon will eventually uh, drop, I, I believe. Uh, the, so our dragon dropped. Uh, bottom side, we're, we're wiping them pretty good. Our blasters are out of ammo, but the mechs are going to get uh, pretty deep because there's nothing between them and the archers. And if mechs get onto your archers, guys, that's not a good thing for the archers. The archers are going to end up dropping. Meanwhile, our snipers are just able to pick off everything. Although they don't have any ammo, every time that they attack, they're pretty much going to take out an archer. A headshot will take out a, a swordsman. You can see the swordsman just dropping up here for, from the headshots when the when uh, the snipers actually shoot. Um, double headshot right there. So all, all of them are gone. Uh, there's still 10 seconds left and there's plenty of snipers out there. Uh, so hopefully the snipers can do a little bit more damage. Again, this is a fantastic player. They, they came out and um, they just lost their man, man of worm, but uh, that, that's okay. I, I think that is probably borrowed as well. Um, so fantastic player, great person. Um, go check out their stuff as well. Uh, gotta, gotta get that plug out there. So next we have another code for you guys. So this code is going to be Another one for 300 Lunari. So the fastest person will get the code. Go, 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 go. You guys can do this. While you guys are fighting over the code and seeing who is the fastest for it, we have Diago saying that they're playing uh, humans with swordsmen, archers, and clerics. So if you're playing humans, I would just focus on the archers and then uh, the swordsmen. I would worry about the clerics later on, uh, if that makes sense as far as uh, the, the troop gear. Um, I would go definitely six for the archers. I'd go six for the, the humans. And then if you felt really compelled to go six for, for the, the clerics. Devin Drago said, uh, you want six star archers. Yes, yes. So before anything, definitely six star uh, archers. Devin Drago is a pretty, pretty smart dude. I, I like him a lot. Uh, he knows what he's talking about. Oh, so the strange one said that they got it for the first time ever. Yes. The strange one is finally rewarded. I'm so happy for you, man. Uh, so the strange one is, uh, he, for a period of time, he was Jerry's direct competition to be the first person to comment and like on, on the videos. So I'm so happy that, uh, I'm so happy the strange one got it. He's always there to, to like the videos and comment. So um, I'm super happy for you, man. Good job, good job. Uh, now to find out if you if one player can actually redeem multiple of these codes That's gonna be the next thing that, that we check out So this next little segment we're going to get uh, Even more deep. We're going to look at bigger stuff. We're looking at the big big boys um, so 
not just the 9.1 million core power things like kill switch um who i hope will, will come on do, do an interview with us um i've extended my, my offer and invitation out to them so uh, there would be nothing better than to sit down with a player that I idolize and look up to. Um, so Kill Switch, I, I, I hope that we, we can do that soon. I don't even think that they watch this stuff, but who knows? Who knows? Anyways, um, we have uh, E-Trip. So E-Trip is uh, a whale. This dude is massive. Um, he's got 18 million health on his dragon, uh, and he is going with the... Um, this is a mech crab dragon, so they're pretty much just using this to go up against Adina uh, just to take out her mechs. Um, so next we, we have um, Adina with, uh, it looks like a absolutely beautiful and perfect Onyx dragon. So when we look at the stats and stuff, A-Trip has uh, 1.2 million health stalkers, that's almost 1.3 million stalkers crazy stuff adina has 7.6 million health max like i i mean these these people are next level top tier players um seriously seriously big players so uh 1.5 million damage uh warlocks i mean eight uh equipment right there um crazy stuff oh my god adina comes for the first time ever um thank you so much Ad Ad adina you know what? I'll wait till we start the the, the fight to uh, share more of our fan fan made uh, material. Um, so we we have the two point uh, four million uh, snipers, and it looks like these snipers are also ten stars. So these these two are just colossal giants. We can see that Adina's Nora did uh, one hundred and eighty three million damage. Let's go check out her Nora built real quick, just because. Uh, I'm sure we'll get questions about it. So she has the Clash of Fate mechanic set on. She has the uh, Bloodthorn uh, Rapier. She has the plus one to Destructive Rage the Pistol. 10 star? 9 star? Wow, I'm, I'm actually surprised that this isn't 10 star. Um, I should not judge. Mine's 8 stars. Uh, so her Nora is huge. We'll, uh, we'll take a, one quick peek at the stats because I forgot to go over it. And it looks like Adina barely won in stamina. So she got a 6.5% bonus. Um, she lost in command and magic. You don't want to lose to in magic to going up against Lich. Um, as far as might, Adina won in might, so that's huge. Her Bazrix also went ham. So let's jump into this battle. Really interesting to, to see how this goes. E Trip's a fantastic player. We'll play our fan made stuff because uh, uh, Adina uh, donated. About this war, I think we became weak after this war, much weaker than before because uh, Blood Moon are so bad that we became bad also we can awesome awesome so again if you guys want to submit stuff if you guys want to be a part of this this is a community channel uh we we're all one um it's all about love happiness coming together uh having a blast so um yeah if you guys want to be involved like the players that submit stuff for, for us to share with the streams and everything uh just get a hold of me feel free to put a post on the facebook group or wh whatever you you would like so in this fight, um, we missed uh, we, we missed the beginning. So Adina came out. Uh, she came out swinging. She was able to take down Eight Trips Dragon, which is uh, really impressive. Remember, 18 million health dragon. That's insane. She was able to blast a hole down uh, through this bottom side. It looks at this point in time, there's not enough warlocks to take out Adina's dragon. And eventually, uh, between her dragon, all of the snipers. She's going to end up uh, finishing everything off. She uh, pops her Denji, so her Denji should just uh, clear out um, as many of the backline Warlocks as possible. I mean, Adina, in my opinion, and I'm, I'm not just, I'm not saying this for any other reason. I've thought this uh, for months. Before Adina came to play with us, uh, you can ask any, anybody that, that I talk to um, re regularly. Adina will be a top 10 player in the world. Um, it would not surprise me if she she makes it up to top five if, if she continues to, to uh, play and enhance her account as she's currently doing there's no doubt in my mind she will be a top player in the entire world um that being said i'm super happy i get to play play with adina and on the same team as her um i am on, honored and privileged too um all right so i think we have uh i think we have one more fight uh no no oh might have gone too far all right so this is a rematch so we have a rematch between uh adina and a trip it looks like 
This time we have a real dragon coming out. Uh, so this is a real dragon and it looks like it is, do, 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 do. it's huge, it, it's amazing. This is a, a perfect dragon. So uh, again, everything is just massive. These are two colossal whales. Uh, Adine still has her setup. Um, let's just take a quick peek when, when it comes to the damages. So again, uh, Adina's Nora went absolutely huge. Uh, that's uh, 111 million damage Nora, 84 million ba Patrick damage. Crazy, crazy stuff, guys. This is beyond my comprehension. So this one we'll be able to see from the start and get a much better idea. So uh, Adina's power side is on this top side. Uh, a trip has a lot of heroes towards that top side. So Adina got a good stun on the bottom with her mana worm, and then three black holes went on the top. If the mana worm wasn't there. Uh, that would have given the Warlock so much uh, boosted damage towards that bottom side. Uh, it would have been nuts. Luckily, she had the Mana Worm. It pushed back all of those Warlocks, uh, slowed them down uh, for their attack speed for a portion of time. Adina popped her um, her Denji earlier th in this fight. Uh, you can see her Denji just going ham. She also does uh, Jax's Spray and Pray. She needs to get through all of the, the Stalkers in that top side. It also looks like there's no tag down on her Dragon yet. Uh, remember, the Warlock she's going up against are, are 10 star equipment, 1.5 million attack damage on them. Now that there's a, t a tag on Adina's Onyx Dragon, you can see how much damage the, uh, uh, the Onyx Dragon took. I mean, it pretty much instantly popped the, uh, the protection. But in that same period of time, Adina's able to, to cast a Bat Splits. Um, Nora is starting to get her lightning damage back. It's mostly the Bat Splits that's just taking out so many of, of the Warlocks. Her dragon is still alive. Bottom side, she's uh, she's tanking fine. It looks like her, her mechs are able to survive. As long as her mechs survive, the mechs will take out the Stalkers down there. Uh, Adina now has the tag on the Onyx Dragon. And look at that. A Dwarf player takes down the dragon of a... Lich player before the Lich player takes down the dragon of a dwarf player. Um, really cool stuff. Uh, you don't see that too often, especially at this level of play. Usually the warlocks just blow stuff up. Um, I think that was third or fourth skill tag from a trip onto Adina's uh, dragon. I think if it was a little bit earlier, they would have taken down Adina's dragon. But truth be told, this stuff is way beyond my IQ. Um, I'm good at beginner stuff in the game. I'm not good at this whale stuff. Uh, so. Really good fight to, to both players. Uh, A-Trip is top in the world. Um, no joke about that. This guy is, is unreal. Adina, um, if nothing changes and Adina keeps doing what she's doing, she is going to be absolutely massive in, in, uh, in Art of Conquest. Give her a little bit of time and she will be absolutely massive. Um, so, really good fight overall. Uh, of course, they exchanged the respect back and forth because... Uh, Two highly respected players. These two are absolutely amazing. I could watch eight trip fights all day, um, win or lose. Like, like the guy is a genius. He, he's really good. Adina overall, um, I mean, she, she's a Valkyrie, right? We, we did her player profile. She, she's a Valkyrie, Valkyrie of Justice. The Elena skin fits her very well, in, in my opinion. So David said Brazil. Hello to Brazil. A follow Portuguese Mucho Bong. I don't really. So, that being said, uh, I don't know if we did three or four of these yet, but uh, if we have not done the fourth one yet, here is the next uh, code for you guys. Uh, so, it, if you guys have not gotten these codes yet, um, these are redeemable by one player at a time, so uh, only one person can redeem these. There should be... Uh, 300 Lunari on them is pretty cool overall. So if you guys happen to get this, feel free to let me know. I will be super happy for you. Um, I, I, I get happy for, for all of you guys, for every part of the game. Uh, it's a beautiful game, beautiful culture, brings everybody together. Oh, there, there we go. I disappeared for a second. I'm back. <laughs> All right. So if you guys got this, uh, hopefully, oh, this is the one. Okay. So Ramal is at war. Good luck at the war, Ramal. Um, all right, so we have two, two more fights to look at. Uh, then we have to go over the big uh, channel announcement. It's 
it's kind of sad. Um, it's going to change the channel forever. So um, brace yourselves. We, we have two more fights, then we will be there. So this is a, a Dina versus A trip. I don't know if this, aha, this is not a duplicate. So this is actually a wall attack. So if you guys want to see whale on whale action when it comes to, to the wall, um, crazy. So strange one said, I, I think you can't get two at the same. Okay. Okay, cool, cool. Um, so I don't think you can get two of those uh, gift codes. So luckily it will have to go to other players. So Adina is out of defense. She has her uh, Elena with the High King's uh, Justice on it because it, it's a super useful thing. Um, she has a rank eight uh, Dragon Mage set, which is huge. She has Jax. Jax is using the, uh, the, the new artifact, by the way, which is pretty wild. David is here. Um, hello, Dave. Uh, and her Jax is using uh, Pestilence. Wow. It's almost like Adina was talking to Taint. Uh, if Avalon has Pestilence too, no, don't tell me it has Pestilence. Okay, this one has Protective Shield. Okay. <laughs> I was going to say, if this also has the uh, Pestilence, that's crazy. So let, let's take a quick quick look at this. Um, so it, it looks like... Uh, a couple packs of uh, snipers were able to get the Warhorn boost from Avalon uh, and also get a big moral boost uh, as soon as the dragon dropped. The dragon dropped really, really quick for um, a, a trip. Adina's Jax also dropped really, really quick. Uh, Cleo's hole comes out. Uh, that's going to tie, tie up everything in the bottom side. Adina's dragon also drops. Uh, now it looks like there is just so many mechs and the warlocks need to get through all of the mechs. Uh, a trip also still has a mana worm that is still alive. Mana worms are no joke, guys. These are huge for for siege. Um, I, I wish I could say I use them all all the time, but uh, anyways, Adina is doing a, a great job. A trip came out swinging. He's doing a fantastic job as well. I mean, honestly, guys, if I was to attack his wall, I would wipe within two seconds. So Adina said that she always listens to Taint. Taint's a pretty wise guy. He, he's uh he's got some knowledge I, I i like him a lot um all right so adina is able to fully take this out good job to adina a trip fantastic job if i tried to attack a trip stronghold um i would lose in the first five seconds uh like that's the level of play that both of these players are at it, it's it's crazy crazy to watch all right so we did one two three four oh can't go that high up Last battle, then we do uh, the uh, announcement thing if you guys want it, and then we'll hop into um, our Minds of Mayhem. So this is going to be Toby going up against Killswitch. So Toby is, uh, I don't think he's hit 7 million core power yet. Uh, we, we, we can go check, check real, real quick. Um, where is Toby? So yeah, Toby is 6.8 mil million core power. Uh, if we come in and we look, uh, Killswitch is 9.1, 9 so I, I mean, we're still talking like a 2.3 mi million core power difference. Uh, it, it's crazy. It's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. So Toby has some amazing snipers, 1.8 million damage. Again, these are like over a million health uh, warlocks, over a million damage uh, warlocks. Crazy stuff. When we look at the stats, Toby won in might and only might. Uh, scary, scary stuff. Um, aw, it, Adina's complimenting Taint. Those two. So uh, Toby is using uh, a perfect Onyx Dragon. Toby has a lot of perfect dragons. So this for this fight, he's picking the Onyx Dragon. Uh, Kill Switch is going with another uh, perfect Onyx Dragon. So this this is as fair of a fight as possible. Toby not using any borrowed troops at all. Uh, Kill Switch, who's uh, uh, I'm a very very big fan of. They are using a borrowed Mana Worm, but they are also using whoops uh, one pack of Silver Soccer. So. I mean, that kind of makes up for the 2.3 million core power difference uh, is, is a pack of silver stalkers. So it looks like it starts off there. There's a bunch of stuff pushing back. Uh, Toby leaps in with the Rufio. It wasn't a super deep leap, but it, it's enough to uh, stop the Warlocks. I wonder if Toby did that so that the Warlocks stay out of range uh, of his dragon. 
Toby puts down the targeting on uh, Kill Switch's dragon. I wonder which dragon's gonna drop first. Let me know real, real quick. Both dragons are down to like slivers of health. Uh, snipers versus warlocks. Which dragon will drop first? The bottom side, there's nothing crazy going on. Cyclone happens. Toby takes down Kill Switch's dragon first. Absolutely amazing. Watching my two favorite people uh, duke it out. Uh, Toby's now doing the Jack Spray and Pray. He's getting super deep with the, the Jacks onto all of the Warlocks. It's absolutely craziness. Um, it is absolutely crazy. Uh, so now Toby is doing uh, his Bat Splits. Right, so the, the Ring of Ragnar pulling in all of the Warlocks for Bat Splits is beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, James said, uh, may I ask for mines? Uh, what, what's the timing that the goblins appear? Uh, KDG said uh, 15 minutes, maybe 10 minutes in. Uh, so it's 10 and 20 minutes in. Nobody said the, the one on the right after the deposit. Okay. So uh, the other David is here. Lots of Daves and Davids. So hello, man. Uh, well, welcome. Dr. Awesomeness uh, said that they have respect for kills. But as do I. I think that they're a fantastic player. Um, ab ab absolutely uh, amazing. All right, so we still have uh, Toby, he's finishing up. So pretty much the tag from Toby onto Kill Switch's Dragon really, really set the tone. Being able to, um, it, it, it's absolutely amazing to take down the Dragon. So Dave2D said, this time Drake is crazy, uh, but, but you guys win. So just as a quick little recap, for our Drake and my perspective with everything, that now that we, we have uh, some, some more people here, for Drake, Drake is just an event, it's uh, ju just a little battle. Most of Blood Moon has actually left Light Blue. I'm still in Light Blue. Most of us uh, have moved to uh, other kingdoms. Um, right now, Drake is everybody on the server, everybody going against Blood Moon, except for uh, a few friends in uh, House Call 300. Uh, Ares, huge shout out, love you, man. Um, but it's pretty much everybody against Blood Moon. And you know what? What I mean by this is, this is just a, a, a battle that's a part of a war. So in total, this event will end. And when this event ends, Blood Moon's going to be together as a house. And they're going to be a strong house from the inside out. Everyone's together. There's unity. <laughs> Everyone's having fun. Although, uh, Drake, it, it looks like we're losing. Again, it's an event. It, who, who cares? The events come and go all the time. Like the lucky wheel, that's going to disappear. This Drake's going to disappear. Um, the greatest people in the world take losses every now and again. Michael Jordan missed more shots than he made. I, I mean, it, it is what it is. Uh, it's a great learning experience. And uh, I'm super happy that, that we have the opponents that, that, that we have. Um, would it be more fun if, if it wasn't every single person besides uh, a couple people in uh, another house uh, against us? Sure, like one one v one would be a lot of fun, but that's not the case, and we don't have control over that. What we have control over is making sure that our house moves on as one cohesive unit afterwards, um, because not every house is like that. Uh, there, there's houses like Capital Warriors or Keyboard Warriors that that they just um, they they can come together, get a bunch of really uh, strong players together, and do interesting stuff in the game. But then they deteriorate afterwards, and that's losing the warrior. That that that's losing the war. So the war, this game goes on beyond Drake. So yeah, Blood, Blood Moon's up up against the wall a little bit. But what I can say is we're having fun, um, and and that's everything. So uh, we're having fun at the end of this. It doesn't change anything for Blood Moon. However, what is changing? What is changing is the channel. So, um, will I uh, will I explain everything? I'll pull up on the screen a, um, a, a an ID. So, if you guys want to join join the OGC community or anything like that, feel free to send a friend friend request. Um, so, send a friend request to this. I'll add you into the OGC community chest afterwards. So, here is uh, here's the deal for for the channel. Here's my big announcement. Um, so a little bit ago, maybe like a week ago, uh, I I put out a message that I I, I was uh, considering quitting the game, and uh, yeah, I yeah. So there there you go. Um, that that's everything. Uh, I'll I'll sum it up real quick. Um, 
but ultimately, uh, I just had to take like a quick little break. I have too much stuff going on in life to actually do what I'm doing as much as I'm doing. Uh, in some ways, it's, it's, uh, it's not a full-time job, but it's definitely a uh, much more than part-time slash hobby. Uh, so this all started as, as a hobby. It's kind of outgrown being a, a, a hobby. Um, so because of that, um, I think I need to change a couple things. So instead of quitting or anything like that, what we're going to do is we're going to do a couple uh, changes to the channel overall. Uh, because the, the thought of leaving my, my teammates, especially when everything is so, so much fun right now, um, that, 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 uh, I don't like that. I play the game for, for the players, just like with the channel. We do everything and it's all centered around the players and trying to help out that new player that comes. Uh, anytime somebody joins the OGC community chat and I'm online, make sure to welcome them. Uh, it, it, that's what it's about. It's about creating like a positive environment for everyone to, to play with. So instead of doing anything crazy or drastic or whatever, although I have thoughts of it, just like everybody else, you know, we, we all, um, we all have, uh, th those random thoughts instead of doing anything crazy. I think what we're going to do for like a nice balance is, uh, I'm going to change up a couple things on, on the, the schedule. So I have not updated it yet, but I think this is what we'll do. We'll have videos that come out on, uh, we'll have them on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, bam, five videos right there. Friday, we'll, we'll continue to do this live stream. So out of all of that, all that we're doing is we're removing one video on Friday. Uh, it's, it's hard to do a video and then come live stream for a long period of time. Uh, it just, you know, it's my Friday night. Sometimes I, I want to go out and get, uh, get a little crazy or something. Um, Saturdays, the deal for Saturdays is I'm not going to do a video on Saturdays. Uh, I'll either do a live stream and if I have too much going on in real life or if it's a beautiful day and I just want to go sit and uh, float around in the pool uh, drinking an ice cold Coca-Cola, then I'm going to go do that instead of uh, being inside on a beautiful 95 degree day and the water is like 84 degrees. So some of it's just I, I, I need to have that self-care and I need to have that ability to step away and just decompress. Um, like the stuff that I do for work is no joke. Um, I literally watch trauma all day long and then to come in and do too much um, on, on a video game all weekend. Like I need my time to decompress and just like uh, chill, you know, and everyone needs to. So uh, I think that's what I'm going to do. So essentially for Saturdays, if I'm around in during the winter months when, when it's cold outside, I think there'll be many more live streams. Now that it's summer and it's absolutely gorgeous outside, it's uh, it, it's really tough to like change my whole life to fit uh, fit YouTube. Um, it, it, it's a lot to ask for. So I think that's what we're going to do. We'll do videos on Sundays, Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays. No more videos on Fridays, but we still have the live stream in Saturdays. Um, we might do live streams and we might not. So like for tomorrow, we're not going to have a live stream. Um, it's going to be a beautiful day. I'm going to the pool. It's probably going to be like 95 degrees. I'm going to be in 84 degree water floating around. So uh, I think that that's, the, that's going to be the game plan that will cut down a lot of pressure that I put on myself. So all of this stuff and all of the struggles with everything, it has nothing to do with the game. So yes, uh, I... I the, the, the game has whatever. I really, I log in, I do dailies, I chat with people. That, that's pretty much the extent of, of my gameplay because uh, doing the channel replaces the gameplay for me, if that makes sense. Like, I'm not going to spend four or six hours a day playing the game and then go spend like another hour or two every day doing YouTube videos. Like, I, there isn't that balance. So, what happens is I sacrifice my game time in order to uh, make videos and stuff. So that being said, we're just going to cut back just a little bit. Uh, and I think that will, uh, will offer us so that we can focus on some better content. So anyways, that's, uh, that's everything there. Um, if you guys are a Patreon, uh, you guys support the channel in that fashion. Um, thank you. Uh, now for the Patreons, I set certain expectations uh, on myself for them. So if, uh, if anybody is upset uh, or 
disagrees with these changes, feel free to message me on Patreon. I will gladly talk to you. Um, it, it will work but whatever out. Uh, so just, just get a hold of me there. Um, and it has nothing to do with the game or anything like that. I put a lot of pressure on myself. I want everything to be perfect. So uh, because of that, um, I just need to ease up on myself a little bit. So it is time for mines. Um, so <laughs> we're going to go jump into mines. Um, we're also going to open up Discord uh, so that if uh, Taint wants to come on instead of uh, spamming everything, uh, we, we can do that. All right, so uh, we have Adina saying uh, thank you and, and everything. So, uh, oh, wow, is, is that, oh, oh my God, that, that's the wrong account. It might help if I go and do it on the right account. All right, let's go jump into Minds Mayhem and see how we do. All right, so uh, Adina had Minds of Mayhem and it looks like she had that with uh, some really, really, really strong, strong players, um, which is just absolutely crazy. Uh, so, if uh, if if Taint's around and he gets bored, he he can come say hi. Um, we're jumping in. Let's go do Minds of Mayhem. Let's see if we can find Kurt. Uh, I I can't say his name. Let's go see if we can find some uh, household friends and uh, go go up against them. Thanos Brazil is here. Oh my God, yes. Where where is Thanos Brazil? And where is Taint? I I miss his absolutely beautiful and gorgeous voice. Well, I am here now. Never fear. Hey, what, what's going on, man? How, how are you doing today? I'm good. I'm glad that you came out with those changes to your page. It sounds like it's good for you. I support it. Awesome, awesome. It, I feel bad because I, I want to do something every day, but like, I got. I you don't to need to, bro. Day. You don't need to. Every day is excessive. That's too much of your personal time. Hell, honestly, you could do like three videos a week and one live stream, and that would be enough. Yeah, I, 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 I'll, I'll keep. I, I don't know. I think what I have right now is is, is good because um, ba basically once this uh once it's uh like Clash of Fate season, then on Sundays and Mondays is pretty much Clash of Fate videos, and th those ones I, I I had down pretty well for like streamlined. Like I'm pretty good at putting those together. So. And during the Clash season, it's pretty much going to be like three unique videos, uh, live stream here and there. Um, the other thing I forgot to mention is on days uh, like Monday that's coming up with maintenance and we'll do a live stream, I'm, I'm not going to kill myself to get a video done for that day. Exactly. I support it. I also, 100%. Also, with uh, these restrictions getting lifted a little bit here and there, hopefully in the near future, I'm going to fly up there and we're going to get a beer. Well, you, you are. Yeah, you, you, you can. <laughs> I'll, I'll have an ice cold Coca Cola. Dude, if you, if you come, come ice here, smoker, I'll ice smoker. Fun. Well, we can go get ice cream. I don't care. Whatever. Dude, you, you, you should do it, man. My sister's a flight attendant, so I get to fly for free wherever I want, so. Oh my god! You, and you you should come while while it's still like uh while it's still nice. You can come lay down and well, well get your own float, but like lay down in the pool and just uh, chill out. With us. Well, see, I'm from I'm from the coast. I'm from the beach a beach town, so like the water's not a big deal for me. I actually might wait until it's cold so I can actually experience cold weather instead of like intense heat all the time. Ooh, so like, what, what do you want to go skiing or snowboarding? Yeah, I would love to go snowboarding. Actually, we can do that. All right, yeah, let's do that, man. If we do that, I'll actually drive up there so I can bring my truck. Yeah, because I, I I don't have a um, I I don't have a, a truck. I drive a oh. Prius. No, I'm kidding. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> I, I bought a brand new pickup truck like three months ago, so I got a truck. We're good. Oh man, yeah, th that that would be a blast. Oh my god! Oh, dude, we could go around and meet up with people too, because um, th there's some people. Derby, and I can I can get us tickets to uh, to like everything, all access passes. Oh my so god! We'll we'll bring the camera, get get some GoPros, and we we, we can make some fun fun videos. Uh, AOC in real life. Yes. Yes. Let's do it. So we, we do have a, a a question. Maybe you guys can help me real real quick. Um, 
Uh, Panda Power said thoughts on new Shuriken artifact. Um, what 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 do you uh, what, what what do you recommend? I haven't leveled it at all. I made mine five stars, but I haven't had a chance to try it yet. I made mine three, um, and I really haven't had a chance to play around with it yet. <laughs> So maybe tomorrow's uh, dual tower will, will yield some uh, be better answers. Yeah, I plan to play around with it tomorrow. We've got a lot going on in our house, so a lot of, lot of fun, exciting stuff. So I've just been really busy trying to tear it up and do kind of. It's interesting, but yeah, so I've been busy. I've been ignoring dual tower. I keep forgetting to do it. <laughs> I do the same thing. The time is so bad for me. I feel like yeah. I missed it. It's either too late or too early. Like, things have been picking up at work, so, like, for me, Tower is open only during work or super late at night. Yep. Same. So, it's like, I get it on that Saturday and Sunday, Saturday night and Sunday, and then that's it. Like, that's the only time I really am reliable to get in. Yeah, because I can't do it at work, because my network connection at work is so unstable, I usually get, get disconnected if I try to do it at work. I, wait, are you in this mind scene? No, I have 10 more minutes for mines. We're never in mines together. It makes me so sad. Hey, Lilith, if you're watching this, put me in the same mines as OGC. Do it. Um, oh, my God, Katie. <laughs> All right. Um, it, if you guys are... Oh, geez. How, how do I do this while, while fighting? I should have done Raxius. Um, if you guys don't mind, just... just uh, uh, being quite real quick while we play some uh, fan made um, uh, stuff and uh, like like Dupius has helped out the, the channel a ton with uh, her uh, fan made stuff. Um, it's, it's really cool, so I appreciate it all. Uh, KDG just donated, so we, we have to play the fan made uh, uh, sounds for her. Um, and I, I hope that uh, I hope that everybody enjoys. And to Kim who who made this, um, amazing job, R really good job. I'm I'm glad that we're featuring it. So. Uh, here we go. About this war, I think we became weak after this war, much weaker than before, because uh, Blood Moon are so bad that we became bad also. We can awesome. Well, um, th that's cool stuff. So, so maybe, uh, maybe EG can can create something for for the community as as, as well. Sure, we can do that. That's awesome. Uh, and for the people that want us to fight I L I L I L I L, um, yeah, they, they're pretty strong. <laughs> Saying their name is very hard. Fighting them is even harder. Oh, man. Dude, so not this coming Monday, because I won't be king. So. Like nine days from now, I'm about to have a massive change in my account. Uh oh! How how many years of rush are are, are you going to use? Uh, well, it's not year; <laughs> it's a year. But uh, I have one year, thirty three days of tech rush right now. <laughs> oh, did that, that Anyone that says I have a year is an absurd human being, and I want to watch that. Dude, and, I have like 50, four hours? and I have 52 <laughs> days of build rush, but that's besides the point. <laughs> I mean, I don't even have that much available to me to purchase. Like, I don't know <laughs> what kind of special taint bundles you get, but like... <laughs> No, I don't even gets government I'm, subsidies and kickbacks. He's, like, he's on the nose. I'm you know? part of the. I'm part of the research mafia. It's a special <laughs> kickback. So. Oh my gosh! Let yeah, legitimately, I get a few hours put together, and I'm like, yes. But yeah, I'm gonna send you before and after pictures, OGC, because I'm excited. It's gonna be crazy. I, I think I'm gonna have enough to get three different types of heroes to the level 70 research done so i'll be able to get like a bunch of heroes level 69. that that's insane that's insane 69? yeah oh my god dude that that's terrifying so, You're gonna I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do rogue glad and then if i have enough left over i'm gonna do mage just or, yeah necromancer just so i can get ophidia to 69. yeah just because why not who cares just because. 
Yeah, why not, right? Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> the only problem is I don't know if I have enough experience, so I have to be like kind of pick pick and choose the gladiators and the rogues I upgrade. I can't do them all. I don't think I'll have enough EXP. You don't have to buy the uh, sets. No, those are terrible value. I'll never buy EXP. <laughs> oh, because oh, that would just be silly. It would be absurd. I don't do absurd <laughs> things. <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> oh my Quite so, I, I, I don't know what I'm saying, because right now I'm fighting somebody that's, uh, I think they're like 9.9 mi million uh, core power. So... If I'm if I'm fighting them and other people on like the fire kitty, I don't know how I I'm not getting mashed up in mines with you. I don't know. It's it's like they're purposely like making us not play together, and it's making me mad. Ooh, somebody said it's time to find new the taint name of the week. I don't know if I can change my name yet. Yeah, taint. I can't change my name for three more days. So on maintenance, you can plan. You can plan ahead. Maintenance live stream. We can we can vote on my new name. Ooh. That that'd be awesome. Yes, and well, we can vote on the name and then an idea for the profile picture. Ooh. That's a good idea. I, I I like the sound of this. As voted for by the community, and I'll wear it around for a week, and we can make it a <laughs> weekly thing. That would be awesome. I'm down for it. I don't care what my name is in the game. People don't even read it. I just, I just know, know you as Taint. Yeah, most people do. People are like, oh, your name's blah, blah, blah. No, you're still Taint. Well, maybe, like, right. maybe that's like a little Easter egg with, 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 with your uh, account and, and who you are. Well, I'm pretty sure I'm identified by my core power by people who don't speak English. So, I mean, the name's kind of more or less just a, a gag thing. Well, that was my cat. But, uh, yeah, <laughs> he's, he's being mouthy. Oh, shut up, dude. <laughs> oh, I wonder if any, anyone else came, came in here. All right, so I think the only person here that I know... Okay, so there's two LIs, and then we also have Thanos Brazil, who kicked my butt, by the way. So Th Thanos definitely grew. Oh, yeah, he's... He's, he's getting a little he getting a little thick. Oh, yeah, he, he's an awesome dude, too. So Such a good guy. What, what is it? Viva la Brazil? Is that how you say it? Uh, yeah, I have no idea. What the the name of the house? Or he's in the Avengers? Yeah, what? I I'm I'm trying to work on my my Portuguese. I I mean I can't even uh, English, but what why why not? Yeah, you should just try to master one first. I mean I you know. So put two. Portuguese girl, and she uh she used to get really mad at me all the time. So. Little does do no. I I am a master of one language. English is really my second language. The the mastery that I have is actually my first language that I was born with in my <laughs> native land. Um, it's called sarcasm. I'm really decent at it at times. Uh, so, sometimes not not quite so much, but I, I try. So English is uh, I do struggle with it at times. I think we all do. I struggle to breathe. And think at the same time some days. So, you know, don't feel bad. <laughs> uh, it's all good. We we all still lo lo love each other anyways. Yeah. I like you. Wait, so if you seriously can come up here, though, uh, we, we should go um, we should go snowboarding. We'll yeah, snowboarding. no, I'm definitely... Especially when it gets cold, I'm definitely down to do that. Because I need to go somewhere. Because like, I lived on the island of Guam for two years. I was stationed out there, which is... Literally summer year round for two years, and you know now I'm back in South Carolina where it's hot like nine months of the year. I need a break from the heat, dude. Absolutely. Well, you will you will get that skiing. I haven't been snowboarding since I was in like middle school or high school. Oh my gosh, we should have an Art of Conquest uh, meetup. Yes, and then we can try to play Art of Conquest while snowboarding and see how bad we get hurt. Oh my god, that would be so... Dude, we'll duel each other. Uh, I'll sit down in the cabin nice and warm with a hot cocoa, and you can be going down like a double black diamond. Trying to that sounds it. terrible. It sounds like I have a chance. It sounds like I'm going to end up in the ER. Actually, to, to, to be honest, you, you would probably still uh, 
pretty much flawless me, even if you didn't use any skills. Um, I don't know about that. I don't think you give yourself enough credit. I'm not that much stronger than you. Especially with dwarf when snipers, like you don't have to like be insanely strong or use any skills for snipers to put in some real work. So how much uh, troop rush are, are you using coming up? <laughs> uh, troop rush? I barely have... Dude, my troop rush is pitiful. Oh, sorry. I've actually, I'm sorry. Tech rush. Tech rush. Um, the one year, 33 days. So like almost 400 days. Oh, so you're an underachiever, I see. Yeah, pretty much. Only 400. Like, if you had like a thousand days, then I, I would be like, wow. But, but like... <laughs> Four, 400 tech rush days. Yeah. That's that's Bush League. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That, that's wild stuff, man. Yeah. I can't wait to use it all. because It's going to be like a night and day difference on my account. When are you doing it? Uh, I get king not this Sunday, but next Sunday. And then I got to wait to get assigned surveyor so I can upgrade to 49 and then at Oracle after that, so probably like Monday or Tuesday, so roughly nine days from now, ten. Nice. That that seemed to be wild. I, I wish there's a way to get like a copy of your stream so I could stream it for you. Yeah, I, there's got to be. A, can I do it through Discord? Yeah, you can broadcast through Discord. Uh, if not, if you're on an, are you on an iPhone? I am. I also have an iPad. Yeah. No, you can't do it that way um because you're playing through the app but you know what you can do is you can take a screen recording and then send them the screen recording god it's gonna be so long but yeah i can do it <laughs> and he can like he can like go through it and edit it and make it look cool yeah i could do that i could do that with like some like super corny romantic music as things happen with lots yeah, of, you have to lots of you have to play down. some whitney houston in the background i'm just saying that would be no, absolutely and you, do you like, know what else we could do? Like, let's it for the boy. Like, should we go that far back? So, no, so dude, do, do, if you go to green screen, you, you could get the uh, you could get the dogs to just walk in front of the green screen. Then I could put that on the screen while while Taint's doing everything and just have have the puppies walk right by. <laughs> oh man! So I'll be getting a green screen. How long do I have? Ten days? Okay. Yeah. Do it. Do it. Oh, gee, uh, somebody, no, Banksy sent me the best meme ever. It's going to be life changing. It's a mastiff that has on a red wig and it legit looks like a lion. So I think we all know what's going to be happening to Dova Jean. Oh. As soon as the red wig gets here from Amazon. So I can get a green screen too and put him in a wig and he'll look like a little lion. Oh, my God. So a, a 200 pound lion, but. A lion, nonetheless. So, do any do any of the people in chat have questions though about the game before we get too sidetracked? Yes, I don't want to. We, we have full contact Twitter <laughs> who said uh, snoring is real. <laughs> that was only one time that I fell asleep on stream. It only takes once. It only oh takes. Once. I had forgotten about that. Thanks. <laughs> uh, I, I also want to know if uh, if OGC girl uh, approves. Um, the uh oh my gosh sorry i'm fighting um if she approves of the green screen with the puppies i mean who wouldn't love puppies she said 150 percent. i don't know if that's humanly possible uh but that sounds pretty good what was it uh i, I think she's saying yes she said 150 percent that, that that's what, what what she wants puppies okay we can do puppies i've got enough dog to go around that's for sure Oh my gosh. Who wouldn't love to just see years of tech rush and puppies? I mean, that's a pretty amazing combination. That's it's like, like the uh, AOC puppy bowl. I love it. Yes. Ooh. Yes. I can throw in some cats, too. <laughs> Cat halftime show. Like, legit, like, throw in some cats. <laughs> like, in my mind. Just watch what happens. Nobody yet, because I haven't started. Oh, I got um. I, I went up against yeah, another night night person. They they have the uh, the same kitty that that you have, Tane. They destroyed me. Yeah, the kitty's a pretty scary mount, man. Yeah, it is. 
I, it gives you special powers. I couldn't find anybody, so I, I don't know. They, they're clearly good, so I'm, I'm happy with that. Yeah, they're strong. I mean, 8.3 million core power is no joke. <laughs> like, yeah. that's some serious power. All right, we'll, we'll try something that, that's closer to our core power. Um, yeah, so if, if anybody has uh, in, any uh, questions, feel free to ask them in the cat. Uh, in the cat. In the <laughs> Just ask the cat for the answers, and uh, the cat will give you the answers. Nobody my knows. Actual really knows. <laughs> oh, so my. Lulu's everything. Oh, did you break six million core yet? No. Or are you, like, on the edge? <laughs> no, no, not yet. So, oh man, I can't, I, I can't tell you because the the video is not out yet. The Lucky Wheel video is an amazing video. Uh, that will be out on. I'll just look at you in game right now. Do you act like I can't do that? Oh no, 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 no not for that. For for, this just that video just has to come up. That's coming out on Sunday. So one, once that's out, that will explain so much stuff. So. Um, Stay tuned for more because there, there's some actually really, really cool stuff with that. All right. All right. I'll be watching. Oh, I'll, I'll, be I'll tell you after stream, though, because it, it's it, – it's, uh, oh, I, I can't say anything because it, it will totally give it away. There is literally nobody in my minds that I recognize. That That's scary. Yeah, they're all a bunch of whales, obviously, but it's no fun. Like, I don't want to fight random people. Mine's want to fight people I know. Yeah, I, like like that one time that I, I I beat you really badly. Yep, spanked me. Took my lunch money. It was heroes versus heroes, but I I mean maybe if Tane had used like years of tech rush, he would have beaten me with uh with, with the heroes versus heroes. But that's like my specialty. That's my secret move. <laughs> There's my cat running his mouth again. <laughs> oh my god. You know what I forgot to do? What? I still have another code to give away. Oh, do it. Oh, do it, do it yeah. now. What? How, how do I forget about these things? Oh my god. Oh, and I, I actually won. Okay, cool. All right. I think... Did Kimmy change his name to number zero? Or did some, is somebody making fun of him? Because there's a person in my mind named number zero... With a screen grab of his face as the profile pic. I I I have uh, I I have no idea. Um, hold on one one sec. Uh, bu 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 All right, so sorry for the technical difficulties, guys. Um, sometimes stuff happens. So giveaway code, everyone's suspenseful. Last one, guys. So this is 300 Lunari coming at you live. You, yeah, you, yeah. get it, get it, get it. Who's going to get the code? Uh, Only one person can get it. Yeah, do it, do it. Yeah, do it, do it, do it. Go, 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 go. You can do it, you can do it, you can do it. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. It's 300 Lunari. That, that, that's like one and a half wheel spins. Ten, uh, we got it, we got it, we got it. Wait, dude, how, how many wheel spins did, did you do? I'm at 197. Ooh, get it, girl. No skin. No skin. Aw. Diago <laughs> won mines three times in a row, so congratulations, uh, Diago. David said you do the mines just to duel. I mean, not to win yes. the event. Yes, I am one of those those people. I literally go into mines and pick up just enough crystals so I can see the, leader, the leaderboard. <laughs> <laughs> I went into my mines with five minutes left today. Ooh. And when I um, got in there, somebody from my own house dueled me and beat me. No. So I, I finished with like 17 crystals. Thanks, Charlie. You know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie's the best.
<laughs> oh my god, South, South Park got the code. Congratulations, South Park. I'm, nice. I'm super happy that you got it, man. I don't think anyone has fought anyone yet. Like, this mine seems real boring. It's like all these people know each other but me. Uh, just go go try, try one out. Um, what, what, what's the worst that happens? They all gang up on you? Oh, I don't care about that. It's like if I fight random people in tower all the time. I want to fight people I know. <laughs> I wish I wish like also so, so had the same minds. Yeah, or, yeah, even Toby. Like but everyone I've seen so far in here is like a million core under me. So I'm not going to beat up on people who are like lower than me who are trying to actually do the event. Yeah. I don't care about the rewards, but they're trying, so I'm not going to, like, ruin their event, because I just want to be a douche. Oh, no. I was following Th Thanos, but I, I lost him. There he is. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get Touch him. him. Touch him. I, I, I don't know if he wants to fight or if he wants to go for, for the uh, event. Uh, you, have a bunch of, you have a bunch of crystals, though, so it's a fair fight, you know? True, true. There's a flame kitty. Run from it. <laughs> I ran real quick. Run away! Uh, so Kelly, Kelly said that she she hopes that she doesn't get us in minds. Uh, honestly, um, I wouldn't worry about it too much. For the most part, uh, as long as we have some friends there, uh, we we usually only fight our friends. So I think last week we we fought um, uh, Chip. Uh, we we fought. Uh, Crazy King J, he was there. We we just kept fight, fighting the uh, our, our friends over over and over because we just want to have fun with it. For the most part, we try not to m mess around with with other people's stuff. But if we know you, then we will definitely engage. Yeah, if I recognize you, I'm definitely attacking you just because I know you, not because I like want to hurt your feelings or anything. Oh, so is that is that why you you always attack me? Yeah, pretty much. All right. So also, if we ever end up in the same server, I'm totally capping you. Just as the thing. Sorry. Oh, you, you, you can bring it. The the capital is my home. <laughs> you have a timeshare there, I know. It's uh, quite nice. It is a wonderful timeshare. Um, yeah, they, they have free parking and free laundry. I just spent a... Ooh, free <laughs> laundry? Quite yeah, nice. it's amazing. I've been there for years. Yeah. We um, just had a really nice vacation on the Isles in the uh, hostel. Yeah. <laughs> we had a, a, nice, a nice Drake staycation. I haven't, we been got real I haven't been capital locked in probably a year. It's been a while. That's when I was, I was in a Chinese house like ages ago. Like this is over a year ago. And man, did we get smoked in the first Drake. This was like during the first set of Drakes, where like it was like used as a server merge. Yeah, like everything, everything was gravy up until like the end, and that's when they still allowed people to migrate into Drake before it was over. And <laughs> man, we got invaded by so many whales. I have not been beaten that hard, that bad for that long ever in this game. I, oh, it was terrible. <laughs> In, in uh, real quick, David said that they're three K core, so they will never meet us. Uh, David, who knows? Someday you might be the most powerful player. It, it's a small game, it, like like it's really big game, but at the same time, it's uh, the longer you're in it, the smaller it gets. And also for um, James, James asked us a question. They asked, "What are the predictions for Clash of Championship?" Um, so, what, what what do you guys think? I got my money on Dora. Same. Yeah, I, I think unanimously we we all are thinking that Dora is going to win it. I've fought a good number of them in Tower, and they're strong. Like <laughs> they're really strong. Going back to what um, and I'm sorry, I don't remember the name, um, but what the other guy said about not ever meeting up with you because of his current core. And I. Um, we're currently moving kingdoms, and so I have the pleasure of dueling a lot of my housemates right now because I'm in another house, so I'm in another color, rather. And um, I have actually had PvPs with some of the guys that brought me up, and um, Marco and Philly, to be exact, and Cujo, 
and guys that I idolize that I've always looked up to that literally raised me in this game. Mm. And the only reason that I was able to stomp the ever loving crowd of all three of them is because they raised me so well. So like you can get there, you know, it's all about being surrounding yourself with the right people who truly have your best interest at heart. They're giving you good information, places like this community that will teach you how to do the right stuff the right way and, and get there. I never would have gotten to a place where I could even feel comfortable to duel any of those guys um, if they didn't help me get there. So it can happen. It can happen for you too. Aww, and all three of those, by the way, just for the record, in case they're watching, you're welcome. It, it, it is the best. <laughs> yeah, for sure. So, uh, Amy asks, um, why don't you send every enemy well to the capital and keep them there? So, what, one of the issues with that is, um, I don't know if you've ever played StarCraft, but it's it's similar to StarCraft where yes they have the the periodic protoss out there um but for, if, if the question is for like our in, in particular with the entire server against us besides uh some friends in house uh, 300 viking aries you guys are absolutely amazing i hope we all link up and play together afterwards um when ev everybody is out there to get you they have some protoss but it's mostly just a massive zergling rush uh so you can only do so so much but uh with with that being said um we're we're going to uh start to wrap up everything um we're going to say thank you very much to the eg crew plus uh plus team for for stopping by and saying hi sorry sorry i yeah, was on sooner that's all good bro thanks no, great. Ooh, i finished the void by the way oh yeah Ooh, you did you, you got uh 180 yeah, perfect. Nice. All the way through. I mean, you're all the first. Right? There's not a whole lot of people out there that have done it. No, there's not a whole lot. Congratulations, dude. That's huge. Yeah, that, 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 that's amazing. Good, good, good job, team. Woo woo. All right. Well, uh, we, we're going to say thank you very much to Dupius for joining us and for, for Tain for, for stopping by. Thanks for having us. Thanks, guys. Always a pleasure. Always a pleasure. And if you guys are free on Monday night, because uh, there is uh, for for the viewers at home, there's no live stream tomorrow. It's gonna be a beautiful day. I need to go work on my tan. Um, I, I think I'm a five minute walk at the most uh, from the ocean, but I want to go to the pool to to tan up. But um, so thank you guys for coming. At Monday night we will have a live stream uh, during maintenance. Uh, so hopefully we'll see. Uh, We'll see Tane and everyone stop by during uh, maintenance to talk about the new upcoming stuff. Uh, so no video, no stream tomorrow. We will uh, have the Lucky Wheel video coming out on Sunday. So stay tuned for that. Um, also, uh, last couple things. Um, in the description of all the videos, there's some really cool stuff. There's merch store, Patreon stuff. Uh, there is the Facebook page. There's a ton of amazing stuff. Go check it all out. It's not in this video. This video just supports the the, the stream, which is absolutely huge. So thank you to um, thank you to uh, Taint for the love you bro, uh, OGC girl um, for being OGC girl, <laughs> uh, Amia for uh, su supporting uh, Adina and KDG. You guys are all absolutely amazing. Um, so th thank you all. Um, hopefully the changes that are coming up to the channel, uh, doesn't impact you guys too much. We're still going to have a ton of content out of there. It's, it's just a, a couple small changes in, uh, focusing on, uh, quality of life. Um, and just kind of taking a, a little bit of a step back. We're still going to have stuff out there, uh, six out of seven days a week a hundred percent uh and probably most of the time especially the colder out it gets we'll we'll probably have stuff seven days out, out, out of the week i just gotta make sure that i can say me so i can do this stuff for you guys so with that i hope you guys have a fantastic night thank you so much for coming and joining um i wish you guys the best and i will see you guys on sunday take care <laughs>